Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cloud Certification Catalyst series which is dedicated to the HashiCorp Certified Terraform Associate exam. Okay, so this is the second practice question. So I will just straightly go to the question. Okay, this is a question two. Your manager has instructed you to start using Terraform for the entire infra provisioning of the application stack. There are four environments, dev, QA, UAT and prod. The application team has asked for complete segregation between these environments, including the backend, the state, and also configurations, since there will be unique resources in the different environments. What is the possible way to structure the Terraform code to facilitate that? Okay. So, step one, uh, option one, implement Terraform workspaces, map each environment with one workspace. B, enable remote backend storage, configure four different backend storages, one for each environment. C. Completely separate the working directories. Keep one for each environment. For each working directory, maintain a separate configuration file, variable file and map to a different backend. And D. Completely separate the working directories. Keep one for each environment. For each working directory, maintain a separate configuration file, a variable file and a map to the same backend. Okay. So here, the first question is that you have to understand is that Basically, there are four environments, dev, QA, UAT, and prod. Okay. Now, you are have to write Terraform code that will be targeted towards these four environments. Very good. But the main point here is that the application team wants complete segregation between these environments. Meaning, what they want is that the code will be different for the four environments. The state file for these environments will be different and even might the backend will also be different. For example, the S3 bucket or the Azure blob storage might be different for the four environments. Okay. Now, why somebody would want such kind of a segregation? For example, in my dev, I have one SQL database in Azure SQL. When I go to QA, I might have two. That is okay. That is something that can be handled via the variable file. So my dev variable file will have one resource. My QA will have a count of two and I will use some sort of a for each or a count in my Terraform code to handle this. But what if in my UAT and prod, I actually need an elastic pool. Okay, meaning there are unique resources in different environments. Okay, in that case, the same Terraform config file will not work. Right. Also, for example, due to, to enforce complete strict isolation, you might say that only the dev team can work on dev QA and there is a separate team who can directly merge changes into the prod branch or just work with the prod. So in that case, what the dev team does is they do dev QA UAT and then checking their code into some sort of a staging branch and then the prod team will check it. So in this case, the prod needs a complete segregation, both in terms of code, state and also backend. So prod might have a back, completely separate backend. So this is a very common use case in enterprise environments where there are multiple Terraform projects lying around. Okay, now how to implement the first thing they are saying is implement Terraform workspaces and map each environment with one workspace. Now, what you have to understand when somebody is mentioning Terraform workspace, they are actually mentioning to the Terraform CLI workspace. There is another concept of Terraform workspace in Terraform cloud, which is the past Terraform version. Now, that concept is completely separate. So when there is Terraform workspace, you think that it is the normal Terraform workspace for the open source project OSS version that we use. So what they are saying, implement Terraform workspace, map each environment with one workspace. Now, what are workspaces? So this is where your fundamentals of workspace comes into place now. Workspaces don't duplicate the entire uh, setup. They are alternate state files and nothing else. So you have a three workspace, dev, q and UAT. Your backend stays the same. Your code stays the same. Only you get three state files, say dev.tf, dev.tf state, ua.tf state and prod.ts state. In these cases, the, your first requirement is not getting satisfied where your requirement is complete segregation between the environments, meaning different backend, different state and different Terraform configurations. So Terraform workspaces, meaning the Terraform OSS workspaces will not work in this case. Now second, enable remote backend, configure four different backend storages, one for each environment. Now in this case, what they're saying is if is that I will have the same Terraform code, right? But I will have four different backends. First of all, in the same Terraform code, you cannot do four different backends. 
okay so your terraform code meaning your terraform state which is linked to your config must be stored in one backend now obviously if you duplicate your entire working structure the working directory and create four duplicates then you can handle it but that is not mentioned in this option they are saying enable remote backend storage meaning i have a terraform config file say my backend specification was local i am making it remote and then configure four different backend storage so this is not possible and not even work now the c and d are basically the similar type of answer so c is completely separate the working directories keep one for each environment okay so completely separate working directory this is basically what we want we want complete segregation so one for dev one for qa workspaces cannot offer us this level of segregation normal operating terraform oss workspaces meaning open source specification workspaces cannot provide us this level of segregation so workspace is not the answer now we will do separate working directories meaning one folder for dev one for qa one for uat one for prod then for each working directory i maintain a separate config file a separate variable file and then i map to a different backend this is one option and for the second option meaning d everything is same but they are saying for each working directory meaning say for dev i maintain a separate config file very good a separate variable file but i map to the same backend okay meaning the backend specification say the s3 bucket is the same now that is something we don't want we want completely segregation even at the backend level so the correct answer is c completely separate the working directories keep one for each environment for each working directory maintain a separate config file a variable file and map to a different packet now in this case there are some problems also what is the problem say you are doing a change you have to replicate it in all four environments okay so there are many ways you can structure your terraform code based on your requirements for example sometimes you might want that my dev qa and prod okay will come from the same source repo so i have one source repo my dev qa and prod will be the different basically the variables will change between my dev qa prod but the essence stays the same in that case creating different working directories is not the best possible answer but say if you have unique resources in each of these environments just like here it is mentioned say in prod i have a uh, different resource i have a elastic search resource but in dev i don't have that because i don't need to test search on dev so in this cases this will not have work because the same variables different variables but the same config will not work there are other ways ways also to structure your code where basically you have long running branches called dev branch qa branch and prod branch so you maintain three different branches basically and you merge changes from dev to qa and then to prod so your a segregation remains in prod but still you get everything in dev qa prod and there are other ways also but the best the thing that this question is asking is to understand whether you understand that normal oss workspace are just alternate state files they are nothing else okay now let's go to the terraform uh, 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 documentation which mentions the same concept okay so what are they mentioning workspaces so each terraform configuration has an associated backend that defines how operations are executed when where persistent data such as the terraform status store this persistent data which is stored in the background backend belongs to a workspace initially the backend only has workspace called default and thus there is only one terraform state which is associated to that config certain backends support multiple named workspaces allowing multiple state files to be associated with a single configuration so see this line they are mentioning there is only one single configuration but there are multiple states which are associated with a single configuration nowhere are they are mentioning there are different configurations the configuration still has only one backend but multiple distinct instances of that configuration can be deployed without configuring a new backend or changing authentication credentials so this is the main part of workspace secondly you have to know one part here when to use multiple workspaces okay so named workspaces allow conveniently switching between multiple instances of a single configuration within its single backend they are convenient in a number of situations but they cannot solve all problems okay so what you will see here is that 
in particular organizations want to create a strong segregation between multiple deployments of the same infrastructure serving under different development stages like staging staging versus production or different internal teams in this case the back end which is used for each deployment often belongs to that deployment with different credential access control named workspaces are not a suitable isolation mechanism for this scenario so go through this entire block in detail but you must understand where and when named workspaces are okay to be used and where named workspaces are not okay to be used named workspaces cannot offer this level of isolation they are not for this when you are thinking about the oss when we think about terraform cloud which we might discuss in another of this series as series the concept is much more better so in terraform cloud just for fyi a workspace is a complete segregation of your environment or your working directory so just like a current working directory behaves in the terraform local version or the open source version in the terraform cloud version a current working directory you can actually map it to a workspace anyways thank you for listening to this uh, video and please share your feedback or comments and uh, keep uh, me posted uh, on if you want any specific videos on any specific uh, part and also one thing that the actual questions in the terraform associate level exam will be not this kind of confusing or difficult questions but there will be questions on terraform workspaces for sure and there will be questions where they will ask you whether you understand terraform workspace in this regard and what is the difference between the terraform workspace in the open source version and the terraform workspace in the terraform cloud version thank you